Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be recapping the last, I think about eight looks that I had, have done off camera. This is part of a series called While I Was Out. I want to showcase some of the things I've done but didn't have time to film. If you're new here, hello, my name is Rachel. I'm a homeschooler and stay-at-home mom. I really enjoy eyeshadow, especially colorful eyeshadow, and I upload about four videos a week. This is one of the rare videos on my channel where I am filming without any eyeshadow on at all. The reason is that I think I'm getting pink eye again. <sighs> Thank you, small children. Anyway, I decided not to put on any eyeshadow because I didn't want to contaminate my brushes or my mascara. I'm going to wash all of my brushes today and just let my eyes rest and maybe get some antibiotic drops or something. But yeah, fun times. But I do have something on my lips. On my lips, I am wearing this um, Italia Deluxe fine lip liner in the shade 1060 hot cocoa and i topped it with the ColourPop lip oil in the shade smirk so that's what i'm wearing period i have no foundation or anything else on i guess i could put blush or something i don't know i didn't i didn't even think about it <laughs> Let's move on with today's video. I want to talk about a whole bunch of looks that I had done off camera. I was recently traveling, so one or two of these I think might have been from when I was traveling. I don't recall. This series is linked down below in the description box if you want to check out the previous handful of videos. It's a lot of fun and there are some really, really beautiful looks featured. So let's get going. In this first look, I used the America's Parks palette from Nomad Cosmetics. In my waterline, I used the ColourPop color Fadeaway, which is basically a, I think, a metallic vintage gold. And then on my lips, I'm wearing the ColourPop lip oil in the shade Hot Spark. You may notice as these videos go on that I don't have a lot of ColourPop palettes anymore, but I still really love their, um, their creme gel liners and their lip oils. I also like the glowing lip formula from ColourPop. Anyway, I digress. This is the first look that I did after my dad died. I was feeling sad. Um, and I knew that doing something creative and playing with paintbrushes would make me feel better. It would be calming and therapeutic. So I don't look terribly happy in this video and that's why, but it really did help me to just work out some stress and frustration and sadness, work out feelings, work out feelings by being creative and using brushes. I love to hold a paintbrush. And so eyeshadow and or just painting, I like to do watercolor painting. Those things are very, very releasing for me. For this look, because I had been crying, I kept my lower lash line naked. I didn't put anything on the lower lash line. I knew that it would just wash away anyway. I wanted kind of a neutral look with a pop of color, and the, the America's Parks palette is perfect for that. I love the reddish shimmer in this look. In fact, I really enjoyed this look, and I was pleasantly surprised with how easily it was achieved. Look number two is the first time that I used my In Mel's Memory Bundle from Sydney Grace. I did black and white in the waterline, and then I used the ColourPop Lip Oil in the shade Cosmic Click. Um, which is basically a really bright pink, but again, it's a lip oil, so the colors are quite played down. This was a lovely look. It was very soft and youthful, quite floral feeling. I followed one of Mel's tutorials for this look. I thought that seemed appropriate for the first time using the palette. Um, if I weren't following her tutorial, I would have deepened the outer corner. This look it doesn't have the kind of contrast that I want, the kind of drama or depth that I prefer, but I did want to stay, stay true to her full tutorial. This look was almost all shimmers, and I found that very odd to both start and deepen with a shimmer. I've done it before, but only under duress. <laughs> Not really under duress, but only I've, I've only deepened with a shimmer if I was doing like a palette bingo maybe, and I had a very limited pool of shadows that I was allowed to use, and the only deep shade was a shimmer. Then I would use a shimmer to deepen, but aside from that, I always use a matte, always use a matte to deepen. So it felt very odd to you to do an almost entire shimmer look and to have my deepening points also be shimmers, but this was a cute look with a beautiful quality palette. For this look, I also used Sydney Grace. I think this was the On the Horizon palette. Um, I don't remember exactly, but anyway, it was Sydney Grace. It was one of the Temptalia palettes. I own On the Horizon and I own uh, Quintessence, and I think this was On the Horizon. On my waterline, I'm using black, and on my lips, I've got the glowing lip uh, in the shade Tickled Pink, which is from Pop. This was nothing special. Honestly, it was a beautiful, lovely, soft look. It's not its not remarkable in the color choices or anything, but it's just, Sydney Grace always stands out for the ease of use of the quality of the shadows, the delightful sparkle and smooth and creaminess of the shimmers. It's very, very good quality. This was just so easy to achieve. It wore beautifully, it lasted all day long, and it was just a nice, soft, elegant look. For this next look then, I used the Age of Opulence palette from Beauty Bay. I put black in my waterline and on my lips I'm wearing the, uh, the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Bit of Honey. I wanted a smoky eye, like a really deep dramatic smoky eye for this, but I used, I love the colors, but I used them in the wrong order. 
I forgot that you can't really build with the Beauty Bay formula. You really have to go dark to light. You're not going to be able to pile shadow upon shadow and start the other direction. So it ended up being kind of patchy. After this video, I did end up taking my finger to add more shadow to the lid, something where I wasn't using a brush and working at that same area over and over again. I liked the idea, but I don't think that I can do my preferred smoky eye technique, um, like deep dramatic smoky eye, with the Beauty Bay formula because I prefer to build a little bit and this formula is not, is not very conducive to building. This next look was featuring the Udenzai Jewels and Gems palette. I put navy in my waterline and then I have the um, the lip oil from Burt's Bees in the shade Showering Sunset. This was just a nice, gentle, soft look. I really loved that lilac shade that I used as a transition. If you watched the video that went up right before this one, actually, I did a look with Jewels and Gem and I used that shade as a transition and it's absolutely beautiful. It's just so floral and, and elegant and quiet and feminine. I love it. It's like a dusty lavender. It's so, so pretty. I think I should have blended out the darker blue for this look. This was almost a wing that was sort of buffed away. It's not really my style. I was trying something new. I didn't love it. I do like the colors. I just didn't like that. Oh, baby's awake <laughs> and not happy with me. I'm almost done. I like the, the I, uh... colors. I just didn't love that particular shadowed wing effect, but the look overall was light and elegant. Here is now the second time that I used the Inmails Memory Bundle. In my waterline, I used um, a blue and then I used the shade Aglow from ColourPop, which is a light green, like a minty green or a spring green. And then on my lips, I'm wearing the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Rocky Road. I meant to do black in the waterline and I pulled out the wrong one. So we ended up with blue. I wanted to do a different color scheme, something that worked with my very 1970s sort of shirt. This look was turning very grungy and not necessarily in a good way. Not the way that I prefer. It was kind of getting a bit dirty and muddy looking. Not muddy for the quality, it was just the colors that I had paired together. Until I added that bright gold green white shimmer, that really transformed the look and I really liked it after I added that shimmer. We're almost done. In this look I used the Stone and Rock palette from Udenzai. I put white in my waterline and on my lips I'm wearing the NYX This Is Milky Gloss in the shade Mint Choco Chip. It's a green gloss but it doesn't really make your lips green. It's just just doesn't. <laughs> I really dove into the white matte in this palette for this look and I, I very much enjoyed it. I should have blended it out a bit more because I got kind of a stark line with the warm yellowy green tone but the white matte was really really nice. I'm not surprised. It is really nice. I kept the inner half of this lid matte and the whole palette performed exactly as expected. And for the final look in today's video, I used the Palettopoly palette from Ace Beauté, and I used the Sydney Grace Tropicolor palette when they collaborated with the Fancy Face. I put orange from Udenzai in my waterline, and by the time I took this video, the ColourPop Glowing Lip and lip oils that I was wearing had totally worn off. This was just a nice soft berry rose gold kind of look. I don't remember which shades I used from which palettes, but I did really like the overall look. I thought it was very, very pretty and just kind of delicate and fun. Again, soft, feminine, quiet kinds of tones. There's nothing super bold in today's video, but I did really love this final result. And I also enjoyed using the palettes together. And that final look closes out today's video. The baby's awake, my husband's in the shower. It's time for me to get moving with my day. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you will check out these, uh, the linked playlist down below in the description box if you wanna see more videos like this. Generally, they have eight to 10 looks. So it's just lots and lots of looks. I think this is the eighth or the ninth video. Do tell me in the comments which looks you liked the best. I did number them so that we could reference them later on. Thank you for being here. I hope you've enjoyed the content and that you will consider liking and subscribing before you go if you haven't done so. Remember, I upload several videos videos a week and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!